right here it's looking like a good little ready duels game game but i think our player jordan drew an extra card but he might be playing oh we go we go full ban full full no ban list all right so he did draw an extra card um we got no links over here there's no links low rated duels we got red eyes minor he's gonna be facing off against jordan baller 42 but the reason why i knew it's gonna be a good duel is well we got we got wing karibo already all right he's a dark magician of chaos interesting tr choice of a card to get rid of in a Duel where you have Graceful Charity that you can potentially add back, but uh, he's got his opponent that has no extra deck, but he's got two cards in the extra deck. Activating Zero Count goes past. How do you activate Graceful Charity and still not have a play? That's the real question here, man. <laughs> Alright, so. He's got triple back row. Like, you, we're going back in the days, alright? But. Stuart, set pass with no ban list, alright? We're, we're playing with no ban list, guys. No ban list. And, and your first option is that Graceful Cherry X Head Cannon. 1800. Attacking face down. Let's see. Wow, dude, that alien. Well, who sets a 1900 beater? Oh, wait. Actually, he does gain extra attack, right? 500 attack. Wow, dude. Too strong. Too strong. Who sets alien shock trooper, though? Like, wow. I'm interested to see what kind of shenanigans and what kind of cheats these guys pull off in this duel here, for sure. Wow, dude. He's, just, he's no match for the X head cannon in attack position, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, so he's tributing for Jinzo. How did I know, dude? It's like, I know all the <laughs> scrub cards. Just is not that bad. Um, but he also gains 500 attack. So 2900 Zinzo is really not that. Go hit, hit it up with that man eater bug. Oh, it wasn't. All right, but it's Venom Serpent. Once per turn, you place a Venom counter on a opponent's monster. Okay. So that's, I mean, you should have just put it on the X head cannon. So it looks like we got some type of a reptile deck. Um, reptiles versus. I mean, to me, this looks kind of like an anti-meta deck, but I mean, chaos anti-meta. A lot of people will just throw like Black Lost Soldier, Dark Magician of Chaos, takes a scrub to no scrub. Giant Turnade. Wow, that's a card I haven't seen in a while, dude. They definitely running with no list. You know how broken Giant Turnade would be in Yu-Gi-Oh right now? Oh my gosh. This also technically bounces that card back, but I mean, he just reactivated, right? Or does this card have some other alternate effect? Once per it can't be destroyed, and while you control. Two more face-up tactics monsters, your opponent can't target the monster below attack. Yo, we go in chaos monsters already. Alright. So he's telling him he has to return the stamp. I mean he could just reactivate it. It says destroy all special summon monsters from the extra deck. If this card is activated. Okay. We gotta summon that black luster soldier. Wait! You messed up, dude! Oh wait, well, only the extra deck. Never mind, never mind. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, so he's gonna go ahead and tackle Black Lost of Soldier, hopefully. What the? You scrub! You could have tackled BLS and attacked directly again. Seal, destroy. It's not how it works, but it's okay, man. When you activated Seal, it doesn't... The special summon monster. Oh, all special... Wait, oh, that's actually correct. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. I thought it was from the extra deck. It's you can't special summon monsters from the extra deck. My bad. I guess I should join that hype train of the low-rated duels, but this game already, guys, is hype. Um... Rip the Venom Cobra, that's all I gotta say, dude. Special summon the BL. Uh, why would you bounce it back, not activate it? I don't know, dude. Uh, we have Hatronade. Hatronade is not as good. I mean, Hatronade would have been better in that aspect because it wouldn't have bounced back the face up card. He can't even play it. Oh, wait. No, it's. Oh, yeah, it's, you oh, can't special summon monster. You're boarding the BLS over here. Wow, dude. Wow. The tides have turned, my friend. And then, wow, dude, a, a, a Granadora. Oh my gosh. I still can't believe he directs himself with that. He gains a thousand life points. When this card is normal summon, flip summon, or special summon. You can increase your life points by a thousand. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you take two thousand. But, oh, uh, that's not that bad. I mean, you just, like, use it for, like, fodder. Good move. He's, he's getting the effect of luster. So he's going to be banning. So far, our, our player uh, in the blue, um, he only made a, f 
what I would consider a minor mistake, which was setting Alien Shock Trooper. Uh, just, and the other card he could have summoned and put the Venom counter on it. And took like some small amount of damage, but I don't know. Oh, Seal is once per duel. Oh wait, he can't even activate. Oh my, that's why he can't even activate it. So the player in the blue taking that advantage. Wow, dude. I, I, I forgot about that effect. You, you guys know that this, there's a deck that actually top. It was a counter fairy deck. I believe it was ran by Asian Persuasion. 2008, shout out to my, my homie. But um, he actually did play with some counter fairies and he won. He won, uh, I, I believe it was a regionals. The player in the red cheated because, three, okay, yeah. So, uh, dude, he, we, there's a lot of cheating going on, all right? We got Giant Trade, we got Graceful Charity. Yo, who playing Relo when you can play Graceful Charity? All right, dude, if this guy loses, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to be real disappointed for one, the red is going to lose this. Because so far, the player in the blue has not ran any banned cards, as far as I'm aware of. I've never heard of this card, uh, but it's not, like, that good. Because sometimes people run... I don't know if there's anime cards. Yo, dude, setting five back row. One of those, guarantee you, boys, that one of those cards in the back row is a Mirror Force. Alright, gonna get, gonna get Mirror Force now, or is gonna, he's gonna hold on to it. Alright, he's holding on to it. No problem, no problem. But like I said, one of those cards is definitely near force in the back. But uh, he's playing a little cautious here. Keeping that Black Lodge Soldier in defense mode. Gonna set one. Pass it off to his opponent. His opponent draws one for the turn. Effective Black Lodge of Soldier. He's playing it real smart. Just banishing, just banishing. He's not even... He oh, dude, he's... Oh, dude, that... There's cheating, and then there's really cheating. Like, really cheating comes to Fiber Drawer. Like, like for example, like, if you ran, like... Heritage Charity is still really insane, but... I think Fiber Drawer is probably the triumph of, like, the, the... The cards that, like, should be banned, like... But Flip Effects are tactically super slow in the game, but, like, a Fiber Drawer is, like, reset the entire duel. So he's gonna be taking... He, he says... They oh! I... I Dude, how do I predict these low-rated duelist cards? High IQ, man. Told you it was Mirror Force. Told you it was Mirror Force. Uh, but he also does lose 2,000 life points. Now, he's going to main phase 2, move that to attack position, and pass it off. Um, he could have taken some more damage, um, but I think the guy was going to be playing it safe. But he still has to deal with the BLS. That's the problem card. This card wasn't the problem card. We're going to see a Metal Reflex Slime summon in defense position, but that's not going to do you any good, dude. You should have waited for him to declare his attack, then summon Metal Reflex Slime, dude. I mean, I'll play a red making mistakes all across the board. The, the, he's no match for one BLS, but still three more back row. So we'll see. We'll see, man. Venom Serpent? I mean, is this even Venoms? Is this even Reptiles? I, I, want, I want to see some, some spicy, spicy moves. Have 500 attack points right now. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What, what has 500 attack points? Yep. Oh. Okay. Effect. He's gonna place a venom counter on it. Oh, oh no, we go into old school with the magic jammer. The magic jammer, man. But you could just BLS banish that card. Like, what? Why is that even like a threat? Effect of Serpent. Okay, so yeah, because this one whenever. Oh my gosh, we're going back in the day. Who plays Magic Jammer? Effect of Black Luster Soldier. All right, that does get banished. You know, he's probably like, dude, this card is so broken, man. The card. And he, oh, okay, he does get. Rid of it. I was gonna wonder if he was gonna say you can't because it's a token. How did he summon BLS? So he actually used Monster Reborn to get back his opponent's BLS after it was destroyed by a Seal of Al or a Calcos, which actually could not have destroyed BLS because Seal of Oracalcos is a once per duel uh, effect. And it's, not, it's really not even that good, to be honest. All it does is boost everything up by 500, and it, like, once per day it can't be destroyed. It was like okay in Malefics, but we need another Mirror Force. We need we need something, man. So yeah, you can bring back BLS. It has to be special and properly once, which it was. We'll go ahead and take that 3,000, or we're going to see a Mirror Force. Magic Cylinder! Yo, my boy, my boy Jordan running all the cards. I told you it was going to be there's gonna be Cylinder. There, this is like, it literally has everything that you'd want in a low rated duelist. You got Cylinder, you got Mirror Force, you got really, really questionable bad plays. But, uh, I don't know, man. 
He's got a top deck something good. Like, BLS is just so dang strong. And the player in the blue did play it quite smart by just banishing cards. Had he attacked on a fiber drawer, probably wouldn't have been too good. But uh, the guy's still playing it safe. Moving Black Hole Sword to defense mode. Gonna sack that card for the Venom Boa. Which, once per turn, you place two Venom counters on one. Wait, wh why are you so scared? Like, these cards are so expendable, dude. The, uh, Red Eyes Miner, are you playing so scared, man? All right, I can't wait to see a Dark Hole and a comeback. All right, now moving this one in attack is like, why, dude? These cards are worthless. Should shouldn't want for game, dude. I want I want to see a comeback. Change of heart. All right, here we go. The Black Lost Soldier. He's gonna take two thousand. Oh, the Solemn comes out negated. That face down change of heart for so long, so long. He had this. I'm pretty sure he had this card for a long time. Is that gonna be GG for a boy Jordan? Or is he gonna be able to come back? I don't think I don't think he's coming back. Oh man! That's it for Jordan, man! It's a GG. Or is it? Or is it? I feel like if he says aw oh, man, he's either high IQ bluffing the guy, or it's just the All truth right. and he actually has nothing. Oh he finally got his venom swap. Alright, so he's gonna attack for 16, which would be game. Yo, that's Stormy Mirror Force though! What? I did not expect that. I was gonna say, dude, he, he was so cautious before the player in the blue, right? 1600's game, why wouldn't you move the other card to defense mode? If you were actually like, I'm trying to play it smart. Yo, dude, the comebacks, dude. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, boy, Jordan keeps on coming back. But remember, guys, every single turn, a Venom counter is gonna be added, and everything loses 500 attack for each Venom counter, except for, was it, Reptile Monsters? Except for Venom Monsters. Okay, so Venom Monsters are immune to that effect. The Black Lives Soldier is now at 2,500. Yo, let me see that pot of greed. That's like, the, that's like the one card missing to make this like, oh, oh, set and Ah, you know it's gonna get banished though. You, you know it's gonna get banished. But, don't, don't count our boy out yet, dude. He can still have one more card. I can't believe he bl who bluffs would cha change your heart, dude. That's like game winning. Wait, he's just going to battle phase. Oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, what is it? <laughs> what was that? He gets too. The it's too thick, boys. Effect of what? BLS? Uh, he could affect BLS and serpent. Oh, effect of serpent. Oh, he just thought he dude. He could BLS banish that card. He's just putting Venom counters on it. Oh, no, 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 it's just the counter. Oh, no, no, you, you revealed it too early. Oh, wait, he's giving it back. He's giving it back. What a nice guy. He's like, dude, you know what? I'm a special summon it, but then give it back to you, because, like, I'm going to beat you with the Venoms. Uh, counter on Fanter. Okay. Power Panther. He spelled it Fanter, though, all right? I can read. All right, so <laughs> we see Venom Shot. What does it do? Activate when you control a face of Venom Monster, um, or any of these cards. Send one Reptile Monster from your deck to the graveyard and place two Venom counters on a face of Monster opponent controls. Okay. So he's gonna go ahead and put two counters on this card. But why? Like, you could just banish it with BLS. And so he's gonna put more counters on it. He is Joey Cosplay. Counter. So, uh, he's got three counters, or four counters. And it reduces their attack by 500, and it, uh, it is actually destroyed due to Venom Swamp. Dude, but like, this guy had game for so long, he's stalling now. Alright, Jordan. Our bolt. Is it, also, BLS, by the way, guys, is now at um, 1500 attack. It's not looking too good. Does it lose defense suit? No, just attack. Alright, he's just passing. BLS now at 1000 attack. I think our boy Red Eyes has got it. Unless, we've got another mirror for us, dude. This guy always has surprises. We got the Venom Boa. Wait, you, you have to tribute for that? It's a level 5? Why? The card's not even- Wait, didn't he normal summon this without tribute before? Is that game? Oh! They get- Oh! And he called him back! Dude, this guy, he, he never gives up, man. Never. Yo, BLS at 5. Next turn, it's destroyed. Dude. Oh my gosh, this duel is getting so much better every moment. I can't- Oh, he's got another back row though, guys. Every back- Wait, oh yeah, he loses BLS now. <laughs> oh, I forgot, he still has Seal too. 
We move it. He moved into defense mode. Okay, he playing it smart, a little smart now. All right, before he, he was he was attacking. Dude, please. Oh, the skate. <laughs> Actually, he loses all the tokens anyways, because they're all gonna have venom counters. This guy. But what does negate attack? Do? Good question here. Uh, it's a card that you guys might not have seen up for a long time, especially if you played Yu-Gi-Oh within the last like. Five years, you're probably like, what the heck is this? So negate attack makes it so when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you negate the attack and you end the battle phase. So basically, it just stalls for a turn. But it is a counter trap, which actually means that it's a little bit more difficult to stop. But all right, lion, lion alligator over here. Why you control reptile monster? Other than this card, for reptile monster you control attacks just piercing. All right, so the effect of snake, he's gonna put the counters on it. Dude, you don't even need to put the counters on it. The Venom Swamp is going to put all the counters and they're all going to be destroyed anyways, but whatever. Oh my gosh. No one knows what negate. Yeah, no one knows. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go ahead and pop. How, why are you popping this in main phase too? Like, it just, they all get popped, dude. They're all getting popped. But Lion Alligator is not a Venom Monster, so he actually does lose attack too. He's so close to making a game. So close, man. I don't think Venom kills monsters with zero original attack. Oh, you you are correct though, because it has to become zero by this effect. Oh. Oh, it doesn't it, it doesn't matter, guys. Even if he kept the scapegoat tokens dark hole, activate only when a reptile monster you control is destroyed and special on the level four lower reptile monster from your deck. Wow, dude. <laughs> He's got the answers, dude. Our boy Jordan is coming back, but Snake Whistle was there. Just wait, he can summon any level four reptile and decides to summon a Venom Cobra. Like, come on, man. That that's the best you could do. Oh, he passed it with nothing. I think it's over. I think it's over, dude. Does he does he not have a monster with 1500 attack? He doesn't. I don't. I don't. Wow. How? You hit, you had a free board. And, oh my gosh, the duel that never ends, dude. The duel that never ends. <laughs> the life points are even, dude. I mean, in a low-rated duel, guys, anyone can come back at any point. Obviously, dude, the guy, what, what is the spell? Each time a spell is activated, you get a heal. All right. Top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh duels. This is pretty pretty good so far. A lot of, lot of scrub mistakes. A little bit, a couple of cheating moves over here, like uh, the Seal of Orichalcos. Um, I think that was it. I think Orichalcos, I mean, we're playing with banned cards as well. The Magic Jammer too. I mean, like I said, Pot of Greed is the only other card that we need. Target a face of Reptile, and destroy two cards your opponent controls. Wow, dude, rip, dude, rip the other card. Unless it's done. I think Chain Wabaku, Chain Wabaku. No, don't let it in. Don't let it. Yo, I'm gonna whisper him. Yo, Jordan, 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 Chain Wabaku. No, wait, what's his name? Jo Jordan Baller. Use Wabaku. Send message. Ch chain Wabaku. No, it 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 ain't over. It ain't over. S say you used. Well, Momoku. Oh no, come on. Come on. You, you, uh, he didn't even, he accepted game state, boys. Uh, are you serious? Yeah, how do you not, Momoku? Well, this guy was gonna survive for so long. How do you not? The worst ending I've seen to a, a hype game. Uh, how do you, uh, how do you not chain Momoku? I'm upset, but yo, that's low range duelist. Disappointing. Unexpected ending. I, I, you can't even make that up. Destroy Lava Cool. All right, game over, man. Not even gonna chain it, but yo, if you're watching this on YouTube, all right, drop a like on it for the unexpected ending. Wow, that was pretty dumb, dude. It just never ended, and then when it does, it was a prank. It was a surprise. But if you're watching this on YouTube, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more scrubs. Duel it out. Just like this one you saw over here. And we outies.